Oh, is the camera on? Hi friends, I'm sure all of you have used a mirror. We use a mirror since it's a reflector of light. But do the other objects also reflect light? Do you know what are the laws of reflection? What is a regular and scattered reflection? All this is coming up in this video. And then we'll finish off with our top three questions on this topic. You must be familiar with what is reflection of light. Reflection of light is the bouncing back of light after hitting a surface. Let's visualize it using this ball here. So if you imagine light to be this ball, can you see that it's bouncing back from the mirror or it's getting reflected by the mirror? The mirror that we are discussing in this video is a plane mirror. It has a flat surface. The mirror is shiny and opaque. Do you know how a mirror is made? You need to take a thin layer of glass and put a layer of silver on one side. The silver side reflects the light but does not let it pass through. An ideal mirror would reflect back all the light. But a real mirror absorbs some of the light energy and the remaining gets reflected back. Light follows certain laws of reflection. But before we discuss the laws of reflection, let's do a quick recap on the basic terms first. Let's say there's a mirror here and I shine this torch towards the mirror. The torch gives out a beam of light. A beam is a collection of light rays. Let's consider a single ray of light for simplicity. The ray of light that's falling on the mirror is called incident ray. The point where the incident ray hits the mirror is called the point of incidence. And the ray that comes back is called the reflected ray. Now we can draw an imaginary line at the point of incidence that is perpendicular to the mirror. And this line is called the normal. The normal is used to measure the angles here. So the angle the incident ray makes with the normal is called the angle of incidence. And similarly, the angle the reflected ray makes with the normal is called the angle of reflection. There are two laws of reflection. The first law states that the incident ray, the reflected ray and the normal at the point of incidence all lie on the same plane. Now, what does this long sentence mean? Let's take a closer look. The first law talks about the incident ray, the reflected ray and the normal. All these three things lie on the same plane. Now, what does plane mean? Plane is a flat surface, just like a sheet of paper or a table surface. So, which plane are they? talking about here? This is a common confusion. Is it the mirror? That's right, it's not the mirror. In fact, the first law doesn't even talk about the mirror. It's this flat surface that is perpendicular to the mirror. And as you can see, the incident ray, the reflected ray and the normal are all lying on this flat surface, which is our plane here. The second law of reflection, thankfully, is much easier. It states that the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. As you can see in the picture here, the angle of incidence is 40 degrees and so is the angle of reflection. Now if I change the angle of incidence by moving this torch, as you can see, the angle of reflection also changes so that the angle of incidence is always equal to the angle of reflection. Let's place the two laws of reflection of light on our concept board. When we talk about reflection of light, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? You must be thinking about a mirror, right? But do the other objects also reflect light? For example, if you look around in the room, do the table, chairs, walls, even you and me, are we reflectors of light? The answer is yes. 
because that's how we see the world around us. These objects do not have light of their own. They are reflecting the light coming from some luminous source, like the sun or a light bulb. As we discussed, all objects reflect light. Now an interesting question is, do all the objects reflect the light in the same way? What do you think? So if you compare a mirror and a sheet of paper, do they reflect the light in the same manner? If that's true, then I don't need to buy a mirror, right? I can just comb my hair using a sheet of paper. But we know that's not the case. So let's go ahead and talk about the types of reflection. There are two types of reflection. One is regular reflection and second is irregular or scattered or diffused reflection. A mirror or a highly polished surface is an example of regular reflection. But most of the objects around us, like paper, walls, curtains, are all examples of irregular reflectors of light because they scatter the light. It's easy to understand the difference between regular and irregular reflection if we consider a parallel beam of light falling on a mirror and a surface like a paper. So let's look at the mirror case first. So as you can see in the plane mirror, the parallel beam remains parallel even after reflection. So if you look closely, you can see that all the rays in the beam have the same angle of incidence. And following the laws of reflection, all the rays will have the same angle of reflection. So the incident beam remains parallel even after reflection. Now let's look at the case of irregular reflection. When a parallel beam of light falls on a surface like a paper, as you can see, it gets scattered in different directions. Is this because the laws of reflection don't hold here? No, the laws of reflection always hold. The paper seems smooth, but if we look closely at a microscopic level, the paper is rough. So as you can see here, the angle of incidence for the different rays in the beam are different. And so the angles of reflection will also be different. And this is how the light gets scattered in different directions. So it's called scattered reflection. Another name for this case is irregular or diffused reflection. Let's put regular and irregular reflection on our concept board. Friends, practice makes you perfect. To revise these concepts, you can go to my website and try solving the quiz and the top three questions for this video. To make it easy, I'll put a link in the description below. So just click on the link and do write your answers for the top three questions. And I promise to reply to them as soon as possible. As we discussed in this video, reflection is the bouncing back of light. Light follows two laws of reflection. And remember, there are two types of reflection. The mirror is an example of regular reflection. And the wall is an example of irregular or scattered reflection. And do remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow my Facebook page. And do check out my website, manochaacademy.com. Thanks for watching.